This here is Resident Evil Village official gameplay reveal trailer. I didn't actually get to see this. Um, was it yesterday? There was a live stream. So we're going to have a look at it now together. You're going to get my first initial reactions on this. I've, I pre-ordered it anyway because I, I, I religiously buy Resident Evil games. You know, it's I've bought them. Well, I haven't bought them, but ever since I was a kid, I played these games. And it's just gotten better and better. I mean, maybe there was a Resident Evil 6, not so much. I don't know. I didn't really play that one. So let's just watch Resident Evil Village official gameplay reveal trailer. World premiere. Exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Here we go, baby. Wait, this is gameplay? Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. You'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. Ethan! You'll make your way Why is the Ethan back here? Village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. Okay, so now he's after his daughter. First it was his wife, Mia. And now it's... Okay. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first-person perspective. This is these are real graphics think it right really now. Draws players into the detailed world we've created. Sorry to keep pausing, guys, but they, didn't they create their own engine for this? Hang on, hang on. is this this is in 480p? What is this? Oh, they've gone back to like the mansion vibe, man. So it's literally Resident Evil 7. If it was in a but then again, Resident Evil 7 was kind of in a mansion. But you know what I mean? Like the proper, this kind of feel of a mansion. You'll see a lot of those little details come to life here. RTX on. I don't have RTX on my computer, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll miss out on that. But I'll upgrade eventually. Look at this. Look at the way that, like, I just love little details like this. Effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology. Everything ties in great and this creates is... some beautiful visuals. Oh my god, this is still gameplay. This is incredible. <laughs> now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. <laughs> After all Ethan's been through, he allows himself just to be pushed to the ground like that. <laughs> oh, Come on, Ethan! This guy doesn't like killing women, apparently. Man blood. <laughs> I mean, maybe he did it on purpose. Maybe he's got a thing for him. Who knows? Now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Wait, what? This is this is Jack's sister. Holy! F I love I love that. He's got both hands on the gun, right? And he just, in real life, imagine how that would have looked. He's just walking, and he just hits him on the head. Just walking through it like that. Just Jesus. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. I look. The thing about Resident Evil 7, right, is it's the first Resident Evil in a while that's actually, like, scared me, personally. You, like, the, as they grown, like, the Resident Evil, like, I think it was the, the fixed camera was very scary back in the day. But this was the first kind of, you know, game which actually still had that horror element to it. Rather than, you know, there's a monster with seven tentacles. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. You could do that in the other game, though. <laughs> Aim for the head! Each type of enemy has their- This guy's shooting these guys in the bollocks! ...own distinct way of fighting. So you'll need to change- What is that thing? Them. Bro, that is a freaking. It looks like the thing off Monsters, Inc. The abominable snowman. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? He didn't even shoot that. Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. Okay, so that's pretty much Resident Evil 7. That's not new. 
There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Although it does look nice. Ah, oh, there's something about, I don't know what it is, guys. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but this is like my analysis. But there's something about reload animations in games and like sound effects that just, it's just, it's so nice and like satisfying to watch. Oh, here's the fat man. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Jesus! How do you That's going to be me in a couple of years. Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. That's not the same merchant. If he is, he's put on a few pounds. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. It's the clown from DBD, yeah. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. God, I would hate to see what comes out of this man's ass. <laughs> Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your trap. <laughs> I'm liking it so far, though. It looks fantastic, guys. Wait. Do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Go! Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. The puzzles are the one thing I'm really bad oh, at. And uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Wow. Now, now that you've shown it, I'm... Uh. The thing about Ethan, guys, sorry to pause again, is that the weirdest things happen to this guy, right? In the first game, the Resident Evil 7, he had his hand stuck to a ch staircase, right? And his wife hacked his hand off and he was just there like... Ah, uh, he just takes it so like it j just as it is. Like, well, this is happening. Okay. Oh, a couple of bugs just came out of my hand. Oops. Been a man in a while. This man has seen Let some things. Uh, slice your jugular and just walk. Uh, Mate, there's going to, I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot of simps. There's going to be a lot of simps and people who are into mistresses, right? They're going to love this. That's one way to end the video. Don't end it. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. No, I don't. Hang on. Okay, I'm not going to play this anyway, so I might as well watch it. Escape the dungeon. The sex dungeon. <laughs> for this demo, players uh... won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. So it's, just, it's it's similar to um, what they did in Resident Evil 7 with um, Clancy. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Oh, not even blocking? Are you are you mental? Is it just a horror experience like PT? Maiden. Maiden China. <laughs> We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. Well, I can't play you that. Can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 today. Hey, Capcom, listen, I know you're not watching my video, but hit your boy up. Give me a PS5. I'll make it worth your while. I've got, let me think, let me see what I've got. I've got this eye mask. You put it on your face, it heats up your eyes. It's fantastic. Stress away. You've had a hard day at the office. Put this bad boy on. Eye health is important, okay? And I think it's worth five times the amount of a PS5, okay? Hit me up. You, you, my email is somewhere in my in my channel description, okay? What? Come on, big